Hi, kitty cats. Today is July 16th, 2024, and I want to talk about mental health after gender affirming surgery. So you can see that I'm sitting up, I'm actually in a chair. Physically, the healing process after surgery has gone well. Emotionally, however, I admit this hospital stay has been overwhelming, enough so that I ended up crying the past couple of nights. And here's why. So I have a very hard time asking anybody for help, but I'm confined to a bed where I can't even lower the guardrails on my own. I can't get anything outside the reach of the bed without asking somebody to help. And then when I'm in bed, I don't have any clothes below my waist because of the catheter. I'm very self-conscious of my body, which seems to be a pretty common transgender trait. But I don't want to get up if I have no clothing, because at the very least, I don't want to frighten any of the nurses with my lily white bum. And finally, I have to lie on an absorbent pad, and I'm very sensitive to physical sensations. Having that thing stuck to my skin is a constant reminder that I'm confined to a bed with no clothes below the waist. And all of this contributes to a sense of feeling trapped, like a cat in a bag. Now, it is better now. I don't have the calf squishers or the IV holding me down, but I do have two more days of waiting before the bandage comes off. I am going to make it through this but I wouldn't have been able to guess what being in this room for nine nights was going to mean to my mental health. So physically, I'm great. Emotionally, I'm kind of struggling. And I think that's something to keep in mind on your own journey. Okay, that's it. I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.